12 News is your local election headquarters. One of the key races tomorrow will determine if one of Rhode Island's most powerful politicians, House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello, will remain a state representative. Republican Barbara Ann Fenton Fung is challenging the Democratic Speaker for his seat in Cranston's District 15. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado joins us now with a preview. In this unusual season of campaigning in a pandemic, this race was also marked by the October criminal trial of one of Speaker Mattiello's former campaign aides. The 11,000 voters of District 15 in Western Cranston can decide whether to send their representative of 14 years, Nicholas Mattiello, back to the state house or replace him with Barbara Ann Fenton Fung, the Republican First Lady of Cranston. Mattiello arguing he will have outsized influence to help Cranston if re-elected, since Fenton Fung would be in the minority party. His campaign sending this final mailer over the weekend, writing, the only way to ensure your car tax bill will be eliminated is to re-elect Nick Mattiello this Tuesday. If I'm elected, it will in fact happen. But Fenton Fung has argued if Mattiello could promise this year's planned car tax cut won't change, he wouldn't have pushed consideration of the current year budget until after the election. If he could have, he would have done it already and taken credit for it. Front and center this campaign was the trial of Jeff Britt in October, accused of money laundering in connection with Mattiello's 2016 campaign. A judge is currently deliberating Britt's fate. Mattiello, who was not accused of a crime, was called to testify under oath. Fenton Fung made it a central issue in the race, sending out multiple mailers to voters highlighting the speaker's testimony and a revelation at trial that Britt hired someone to conduct surveillance of Mattiello's 2016 opponent, Steve Frias. Mattiello denied knowing about that or the pro Mattiello mailer at the center of the trial until after the fact. It was a contentious topic at the newsmakers debate in our studios last month. The one thing that's clear is I did not know anything about it. I don't know how many times you practice that line in front of the mirror, but you might be able to convince yourself of that after thinking of it too long, but guess what? You're not fooling anybody in District 15. Mattiello contends he's been responsible for reforms that have made Smith Hill more transparent. Lobbying reform, putting the General Assembly back under the jurisdiction of the Ethics Commission, putting our, camp, uh, our uh, financial disclosures online. It Ahead of Election Day, more than 4,000 voters have already cast ballots in District 15. The 2016 election, for comparison, saw roughly 7,300 ballots cast in the race. Of course, even if Mattiello wins the race, he would still need to be re-elected as speaker by his House colleagues in January. Barrington Representative Liana Kassar has also thrown her hat in the ring for speaker. I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.